Greg just banged up for us there, you know, with our forwards, you know, they laid a really good platform and we probably started a little slower than what we would have liked, but you know, it's it's two teams at each other and you know we clicked in as we kept going through the game. But you know, I think when you're hanging on to the ball, which we've discussed many, many times after games and before games, um, you know, it, it allows you to lay a platform and you know build that pressure and that's what we did. How satisfying was it to come and get a bit of win up at the team? Oh, every win's satisfying. I mean, to sort of the hard work that the boys put in each week. And, you know, we've just got to keep backing it up. You know, we're building our consistency on what we've been talking about, and we've just got to keep keep doing that. You know, the last three weeks, uh, we've found that consistency of what we've uh, been trying to achieve each week. And, you know, we're, our next test now is um, hand on Friday. Was there a fear that you might have been a bit off, given the fact you've been a bit out of routine? No, not at all. Actually, we've quite enjoyed coming to Cairns. Um, yeah, they, they really look after us up here in Cairns, and uh, you know it's, it's a good time for us to get together as a team. So we actually quite enjoy getting one. Very must be satisfying to make no mistakes in 44 minutes and still run up to 26 points in that time. That's probably something you're aiming for, isn't it? Yeah, like well, Matt just spoke about just before. You know, we just we building on it throughout the season as our completion rate. Um, you know, we hit a rough patch early in, in the year mid season as well. So you know, we're building on it week to week, and you know, our focus is on Manly now and you know carrying that. Performance into the next week. What does it come down to? Does it come down to confidence that you're able to do things with the ball and show some flair but not make mistakes? Is it down to confidence? Is it down to just training? Is it down to match? You know, yeah, um, around 21? What's it down to? There's a lot of things involved in the way we play um, beyond the scenes. And, you know, I think as a team, it's individual focus. Um, you know, as individuals focus um, more on the ball, then, you know, as a team, we're going to complete like that. So, you know, we just got to, you know, like I said, just really narrow it down to next week now. And you know, obviously, we travel back tomorrow and take on Manly on Friday. Greg, how has it been with Luke Curry's ability to kick the ground running after a pretty long injury layoff? Yeah, he's worked really hard. You know, full credit against him and the medical staff has worked really well with him. And, you know, it was a pretty significant um, injury to have. So to come back and for them to not play you know, too much footy together, you know, they really. You know, bounce off each other and you know a lot of energy they show we you know ice fireball play as well so they've done really well tonight and you know last week as well but Saturday went off early. Michael that left edge today with uh GI and Chris and Luke that, that worked really well. Yeah it did I thought Chrissy uh, came in and really sparked us um and you know, when he came on the field you know Chris is a quality player so to have him back in the team uh, particularly with a few of the boys that were out he, he brought up some extra energy there and, and size and I thought he um, he came on and you know really started where he left off. So after an injury that he had too, he hard work in the background and got him back and it's now you know just building on that one. Ben, did you enjoy being sort of king, king of the kids? Right? <laughs> uh, no, not really. I didn't really change too much of my game or what I did or of how I you know carried myself around or conducted myself around the, you know around the club. I just uh, you know we got leaders all you know in certain individuals like um, with the halves you know. They know on the right side, Kieran on the left, and Bully in the middle. So, you know, to lead this team is, you know, it's a, you know, it's a great honour for myself, and you know, I'm, I'm glad that I'm, you know, captain or standing captain for now. Greg, it looked like the boys were trying to get Alex Johnson fourth try. Yeah, we always, uh, somebody got in the way of it. So, <laughs> but um, no, it was, uh, you know, those kids I sit back and really admire. Um, they got a lot of talent, and you know, what's really good about it is their feet still grounded, and you know, they got a long way, you know, in this in this game. What can you say about Alex? How, how long, when did you first meet him? How big was he when you first met him, and how far has he come? I think I first met him in 2008. We did NRL together. That's right, he played you in. Yeah, he played myself, and you know, in the, in the couple of years down the track, he's running outside of me. So, um, 
No, it's, um, it's pleasing to see young kids like that really stick at it and you know, make his dream come true. What do, you, what do you talk to those guys about, Greg? How do you sort of help them? You know, they're 19, 20, 21. How are you, you know, at training and helping them to develop as first graders? <coughs> I think there's uh, a lot of things in the background, you know, the life away from footy. Um, I remember coming through as a kid in Melbourne. You know, I was uh, a bit tough, but, you know, I'm just speaking, talking to them about my experience, you know, as I was coming through the ranks and, you know, just helping them um, as much as I can. And, you know, I think that's a big, and also what I'm, it's helping me as well. So, you know, it's pretty much a big thing. It's not always about footy. Match Manly, we've been the, consistently been the yardstick, obviously after today. Sort of makes it a big clash next Friday night. Oh, yeah, definitely. Like those games, are the, the games we look forward to. Uh, yeah, Manly have definitely been leading the line of the competition for quite a while now, so you know, it's another step for us. And as Greg alluded to, we've just got to keep working hard at the things we've uh, built and uh, go and have a good recovery through this week. It's a shorter turnaround and, and focus on the things that we can control. It's going to be a step up from today, though. Oh, it will be. Manly's a quality turn. Uh, yeah, right across the park. Yeah, they're, they're sharp on their edges and they're full of pack and rolling forward for them, so you know, it's, it's, it'll be a, a, a good game. Greg, do you think you can uh, warm to the role of skipper? <coughs> um, no, yeah, I can warm to it. Um, we've had a doubt, but uh, like I said before, I'm not going to change the way I think or play the game. Um, like I said before, we've got other leaders in our team and you know, we've got really good direction. And Sato's always in the background and always going to help out there until he comes back. Greg, do you feel it's a bit of a feather in cap to, to captain such a historic club? Is it up there with some of the other honours? Okay. Mate, like I said before, you know, when um, Madge told me that I was going to captain, you know, it was such a great honour for myself. You know, it be the first time captain of, uh, of any you NIL know, club. So, I've um, been captain of South. You know, so, like I said, I'm honoured to be able to do it. Were you a captain as a kid? Greg, or? Oh, Genius is always uh, mixing the match. Um, as you're coming up, you know, it's all about fun and, you know, it's just, you know, that's what we did out there today is, you know, really enjoy our footy. Any injuries? No. Thanks, guys.